Next up, uh, we have the pigeon. Uh, now, this was shot uh, yesterday on, uh, on, on the fields. Um, normally, you will have uh, quite a bit of flesh on the legs as well as the breast, but in this case, the bird has been hit quite hard. So what I'm going to do is pluck the bird and then just remove the breast off it, and the breast can then be cooked up. So, first of all, we need to start removing the feathers. You can start anywhere on a pigeon. The feathers come out so easy. Just discard them into the bin. As you can see, they just fall out. If you're out uh, shooting pigeons, um, it may be useful that uh, you to take the feathers out of the breast in the field. Sometimes the birds will pick them up and use them for nesting material. But as you can see, handfuls of them just come out. And there we have now exposed the breast of the pigeon ready for removal. Here, here's the breast of the bird. In fact, you can see the breastbone uh, sticking out here. On some pigeons, uh, when you've plucked them away, you'll find that this area here will show the crop of the bird. That's a sack where you will find their food. In this instance, this bird hasn't been feeding, but sometimes this, this crop can be as big as the breastbone, full of corn or full of peas. Um, but in this case the bird hasn't fed. So what we're now going to do is remove the breast. The way to do that is take your trusty sharp knife and make an incision along this breastbone. And then we'll be cutting this way, down towards the wing, and then back up. But we'll be teasing the meat off the bone itself. So, with the knife, quite a surgical way, stick it in and you'll feel the breastbone against you. Keep the knife just pressed against it and cut down towards the bottom. Similarly, cut up towards where the wishbone is. And you will see that the flesh is deep red in colour. And you can just start to see the breastbone inside. Now this is a matter of just gently cutting and just gently teasing away with your thumb. And you'll find that the breastbone and the meat will part. Try to keep it as close to the breastbone as is possible, away from the leg, down, keep cutting, and there you have one lovely piece of breast meat off the pigeon. Excellent eating. Right, now we'll turn the bird around and we'll cut it the other way. Again, there's the breastbone, so we'll cut down this side of it, down towards the wishbone, back towards the rear end, keeping as tight to that bone, that very tight bone just there, and then tease it away with your thumb, gently with the knife. Don't rush it, because you'll end up cutting the finger. And then you'll find that you've got excellent piece of breast. And there we have two breasts ready for cooking. Now of course the carcass you can use for game stock and the innards again you could just pull out by breaking open the inside and there is the liver and you can cook that up as well in a pate or indeed give it to your faithful dog. Okay so here we have breast out of the pigeon. How would you want to cook it? Well, I like to do things fast and easy. So with this breast, what I would normally do is peel off the skin. It comes away quite easy as you can see. Discard the skin and then just simply cut it into chunks. On the hob is a really hot pan, perhaps with some onions, a bit of garlic, or some butter and oil, and you can really fry these up very quickly and have them served on toast for your supper. That is real rock and roll pigeon. Mm -hmm.